It's about four laps, oh. which is about 2,200 metres. A serious swim for most, but it's just a quick dip for Dot. Good luck. OK, thanks a lot. Bye. It's all part of her training for next month, when she'll take part in a relay swim across the English Channel. Well, Dot is one of a number of people who've honed their skills here to take on the Channel Challenge. In total, 8,215 people across the world have completed the relay. 37% have been female, but no one has ever done it aged 81. The former physiotherapist is no stranger to challenges, having completed an Ironman shortly before retiring. The relay will see her join a team of five others, each taking turns to swim for an hour. Dot, how was that then? That was fine, thanks, yeah. Yeah? Oops. Not, not cold? No. To qualify, she had to perform a sea swim and acclimatise by taking an ice bath in her garden five times a week. I didn't start off very well with that. It was about a few seconds when I first started it, but I've got to about 15 minutes now. And my husband usually comes and puts some ice in it as well when I'm not looking at it. Oh, them. thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's little that dawns Dot, except a couple of things. I know the fact you will come across jellyfish. I'm a bit nervous about swimming in the dark as well. And I don't want to set the side down. Because, you know, if one fails, you all fail. To swimmers here today, Dot could never be a failure. Wonderful to see somebody who's 81, extremely inspiring. That's incredible, isn't it? I mean, what an example to everybody else. Just get out there and give it a go. Training sessions always end with a cup of tea and some supportive words from friends. You do triathlons. Would you do the channel? No. <laughs> I don't think I would, no. No. It's a silly idea, isn't it? We'll get her ready for the channel by flinging a few jellyfish into the lake. So. Is that next week, yeah? <laughs> That'll be next week, yeah. Or the week after that is the challenge itself, when Dot, with none of these friends, but possibly a few jellyfish, will take on her record-breaking swim. Helen Steele, ITV News, in North Yorkshire. What a woman. Best of luck, Dot. And from crossing the Channel to crossing the Atlantic, Ross. Yes, an unusual setup for us at the moment. Mm -hmm. Wesley's are pretty normal, but this satellite from NASA does a lot of explaining for us. Yes, we've got lots of clouds around. We're used to that. But in the mix, too, the hazy bit there is wildfire smoke from some fires in Canada. And it's been heading our way over the last few days. And you see that haze over parts of the UK with it. And because of that, particularly overnight, it is having a bit of an impact. And that is that our moon is looking a little bit pink or orange. And not only is the moon pink or orange, it's also very impressive at the moment. It is a super moon. It's also a super blue moon. It peaked last night, but it'll still be out tonight. We just need those clearer skies to get the good view. Are we going to get any? Let's take a look. It's looking a bit breezy today. Tui sponsors ITV Time Tees Weather. We do still have some blustery showers around this evening, few and far between, but still sometimes on the heavier side. They're clearing away as we make our way overnight. We do get some clearer skies, sometimes lighter breezes. So actually into tomorrow morning, a settled and bright start. But through the day, the cloud is going to increase and gradually we begin to see rain arriving from the west. And it is going to stay unsettled as we make our way through at least the next few days. We've got areas of low pressure nearby. They're just queuing up in the Atlantic, ready to make their move. So there's the rain that's moving through later tomorrow. You can see quite a few fronts involved in this, lasting until the first part of Thursday morning, gradually pushing away, but still low pressure in control. Still a squeeze on the isobars here. It's blustery. The wind's coming in from the west, keeping those showers moving across the region. Now, the showers at the moment are just dotted around, but sometimes on the heavier side, sometimes they're merging together. But it's breezy for now. They move through quite quickly. And as we pass around 2, 3 in the morning, most of those have disappeared. So overnight, certainly for built-up areas, just about holding up in double digits around 10 11 degrees a bit cooler in those more rural spots so a fresher feel to things as we make our way into wednesday morning first thing plenty of sunshine around and still some lighter breezes but through the morning we're beginning to see that change the cloud is increasing from the west initially it's just light and patchy rain later on the heavier rain is going to move in temperatures holding up around 17 18 degrees but with the wind chill actually feeling just that little bit cooler so through wednesday and into thursday here's the area of rain here quite a few fronts involved in this so slowly moving its way from west to east as we make our way through thursday itself it will start to brighten up some blustery showers temperatures up in the high teens tui sponsors itv time tease weather
lot. The national news is here for you next, and you're back later, aren't you, Pet? I, I am. Why, I, Pet? Yes, I'll be back at 20 past 11 tonight. Hope to see you later. But from the team here, good night. Bye-bye.